Hello everybody and welcome to a new series here on the Blue Screener channel. This time it's Sean and Robbie and we're going to be playing some Atomic Heart. Say hello, Robbie. Hello. So, uh, this game came out this week and I have not done too much looking into it. I just know it's kind of like a, um, what, how would you describe it? You said like Atomic Punk? Kind of like Fallout? Yeah, like yeah, exactly. Kind of like Fallout. That's what it seems like, though. I, I also know nothing about it. But unlike Fallout, we're in the Soviet Union. So we have... I'm just going to call this guy Artyom, even though it's probably not, not right. <laughs> oh, that is totally oh, Fallout. This is it's great vibes <laughs> here. We are pleased to welcome you on Easy Sightseeing Tour, Facility 38-3826. Oh, we have Soviet naming conventions. This is great. Comrade! Oh, great! Spectacular and dynamic battles with robots won't take too much effort. We don't do that. Do you like to overcome di overcome difficulties? That's admirable. We'll leave it you to it. This is no walk in the park. Some combat situations may seem difficult, and objectives will require know-how. But you can always be inspired by a sense of your own superiority, and after completing each stage, just try to stay more alive than dead. But we're going to do our Megadon. Oops. Yeah, don't worry about it. Do you have a vivid imagination and dark thoughts? What can you do? That's just how it is. Buckle up, a real nightmare is in store where you'll need experience, reaction speed, and skills to properly manage your resources to survive. Save your bullets and always keep one in reserve for yourself. Let's see. I hope we can bump it down, but we're going to go in. We've got I, we've got Soviet Christ the Redeemer right here. Could that be Lenin? Oh, look Mr. at that. Lenin? No, Comrade Stalin. Um, uh, of course, of course. They've got this like monorail thing. It's like Disney. This is actually Disney World. <laughs> Soviet this Disney. Yeah, this is actually set in Orlando. <laughs> we could go see him now. I really love this place. The good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it glove? I've been here before. Right can into we make it. it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> The Disney World boat ride. It's crazy. Floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This oh, city God. Of was built in 1950. Is that a robot? Yeah, it's a robot. Oh Leading my God. Scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. That comrade Lennon? Oh my god. That might be Karl Marx himself. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? <laughs> it's kind of terrifying. Sure, thanks. This gives me like rapture vibes from Bioshock. That's Looks I was like thinking another bot got I stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. I couldn't think of what game I was thinking of. Still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. This is like sensory overload. It, there's so it looks really good though. Wow, what this a beautiful day. Good that whenever the main character good? talks, he like whispers in your ear sensually. <laughs> <laughs> it's some ASMR. Is that a us box entree? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Is that a pig on a leash? <laughs> I think it is, yeah. What a utopia. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's zero four five one. Okay then, get to work, you bums. Move it, move it. A one oh, voice acting. You did it. Oh, thanks a million. Those robots are creepy. They're gonna be enemies. I, I'm calling it. Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. 
It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechnov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. That is terrifying to me. I don't know why I've seen all those robots in the sky. Where? It's a little bit uncanny valley. You've been ordered to the laboratory, <laughs> Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. You dickhead. <gasps> get the move. And we have control. This is actually what um, Seattle's gonna be like in a couple years. <laughs> the future of Seattle. By the Director General of Facility 3826, There's so much going on. Is, is that you like sprinting? No, this is me just walking Gather forward. It's just like, it's still jerky. The jerky zoomy thing, it's weird. All right, we're gonna take a second and I'm gonna adjust my audio volume because that was a lot. <laughs> it just threw us right in. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. Just wanted to get my settings right. Comrade, distance is no longer a bother with our devices. We can see each other. Oh, so it automatically um, converts to Russian. Interesting. Does it work on anything? I guess you don't really have anything else to look at. Yeah. Wow. Been... Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice That's... coordination. Did you just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. That's Damn. definitely an enemy. Also, yeah, our um, our uh, our gov's name is Charles. <laughs> Char Where did you get that information? <laughs> there's there's a it? name. There's a name whenever there's subtitles in the bottom. Like our main character is uh, called E3, but we're just gonna call him Archeom. <laughs> Archeom Charles. Oh gosh. Buy a copy of the Facility oh. Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing. And just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Um, gunsmithing. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? Uh There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase- mm, Jesus. I wouldn't mind taking that <laughs> Did you skip spin. it? At I did. a shooting range, of course. <laughs> that is, I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta, okay, we're gonna read these, read these fast. We're gonna skip through and see if it always does that. Okay. What's new in robotics? The way I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. What the fuck? <laughs> that is... I don't... Why did they do it like that? In five <laughs> years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. Like, like a three anthropomorphic models will, like me, will receive a complete polydermic makeover. So she's gonna get a facelift. <laughs> Beauty's on the inside. You look fine. <laughs> so, what's going on in biology right now? Everything, comrade. To take just one example, our scientists have just developed like an experimental voice. vitamin complex that it promises to, to increase the lumpy. <laughs> Damn, that's <laughs> a lot of time to kill. Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, that's the lumpy anyway. Well, right I there. won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Okay. <laughs> can I just get she the information you. from you? Comrade Major, may I remind yeah. you that I can display so information you. about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. Is that a syringe? Um, these are the new Beats by Dre. <laughs> they yeah. injected into you. Yeah. Oh, wait, they're right there. Citizens, collect your thoughts and connect your thought. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. 
Would you like a I'm Nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Why, oh, I was I sure There's am. People. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your youth, at the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight. But it also you head. It, it's free, right? Absolutely. Nick. Nick All right, then. Okay, Strap me in. Do I get to pick my color? I wanted blue! No, you get pink. I just strap this in. This is worse than Google Glass. Oh, that's odd. Do you think I that's gonna be on your... to access oh. your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. No thanks. I'm all set. Have a great day. No. <laughs> it's rude to eavesdrop on other people's conversations, comrade major. You're one to talk. This guy, like, doesn't have, like, a... He just, like, sprints. Always sprinting. Okay. How much of the, the background story do we want versus progressing the main plot here? You kick me with one? Good day, comrade. I already Why not just try one up? <laughs> you think it's different? You think it's different? Let's let's run. Yeah. Can we get the atom in the picture too? statue as well. Um, oh everything God, up there should be in the picture. Face. It'll look great. Oh. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future. They are, I hate every robot we've seen. All of them. <laughs> wait, what? wait a minute. You Big see robot? That? It's yeah. like the Joker. <laughs> Joker robot in communist Russia. It's crazy. This is... This is I wonder Ethiopia. if this... Is it going to be like apocalyptic? Is that what where this is going? Yes. These are the good times. Ice cream? Oh, oh fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do we have to sit here this man? Good. Oh my god, he's just beating in front of the vendor. <laughs> Biting chunks. Next time I get like uh, any kind of dessert at like, a store, I'm just gonna sit in front of the cashier and eat it. <laughs> Serve my <Stand> dominance. <laughs> Oh, please do the kick thing with the legs. This is gonna be me at my dad's retirement party. With a robo, robot woman? Oh no, it'll just be me alone. There won't be no. Uh, <laughs> I'm just the dude. <laughs> okay. Good to see a nice moral distance between you two. What do you have for me? Residents and visitors to Chelemay City, Dr. Sechenov's address will begin in 10 minutes. You think if we wait 10 minutes, it'll actually start? I feel like, I, I, I feel like it wouldn't. I feel like it's going to start when you go this way. Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of facility 3826. <laughs> Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've oh. been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. As long as you're not a Uyghur. What's that sound? Every pore, every crease and wrinkle, it's all there. Whatever you like. This is, there's just a lot going on here. Okay, let's not yeah. do that. Did you just hear that? Did you hear what that woman said? No. She said everything the light touches is our facility. <laughs> this is a, this is strange, strange world. Oh, this is peak communism right here. This this style of. Art. Oh my god, it's got holograms. 
They gave him a robot a mustache. <laughs> like fucking Stalin, dude. They gave him a stuff. What does it say? Comrade Chechenov develops the polymer as a scientific miracle that determines the future course of human civilization in the Soviet Union and abroad. In 1936. In 1937, a pivotal moment in history of science and technology, the greatest minds in the Soviet Union, all of them outstanding scientists, including comrades Vavilov, Zakharov, Korolov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Sechinov, I can't, God damn, all the names are Russian, Filomen, Filomenenko, and Chalomny, Ch Kelomy, Comrade Chelem, join forces forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and technological advances in the USSR and beyond. So my me, I'm just gonna, whoa, he just popped in. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I, I can't figure out what it is. I remember that you, after Crispy all, critters, man. Yeah. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, you were a stern man. In 1939, comrades Zetchnev and Filomenko create the first Soviet polymer based hydrogen cell. From this moment on, the future of Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Now, now. This isn't a memorial to the. The Brown Plague in 1942. This seems a little. We're scientists now. Really, that its fall is inevitable. The Third Reich creates strikes a terrible, shameful. A human blow against all mankind. The enemy unleashes a deadly virus called the Blau Plague in the world. The disease kills with incredible speed. There is salvation from monstrous pandemics and existence. Drugs are powerless against it. So instead of um, the B-8 rockets, they made bio weapons. Excellent. The war claimed the lives of 10 million Soviet citizens, and then the Brown Plague took 150 million of our comrades from us. They may be gone, but they are not forgotten. They will live on forever in our memories. Oh my God. So this is like pre-World War. What is that man doing? I can't, I can't look at the robot. <laughs> he's really the, feeling it, though. Uh, dude, he's fucking vibing. Then we have some sad people. In 1943, we had the creation of Facility 3826. A worldwide state-sponsored program of industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created, Facility 3826. The apex of scientific progress in the home of the greatest scientists in the world. Is that where we are now? I think we work there. Uh -huh. Collective, Collective 1.0 in 1940. That says 46, but that says 1948. 1943, okay. Interesting. Collective 1.0 neural network is successfully launched at, at facility 3826, the world's first global network. It brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. They made the internet. And in the first man's space flight in 1951. Does this have Yuri Gagarin? Yes, it does. Oh my God. Was, it, was that actually in 1951 when Yuri Gagarin went to space? It may have been a little later. I don't know exactly though. I feel like it was a little later. Good to see their brooms haven't changed though. <laughs> all this high tech. Comrades, the day will come when all the planets of the solar system all have artificial atmospheres capable of supporting human life. We will reach the most distant star. And right now, we are taking our first steps on this historic journey. Imagine like being in public and people just speak out loud like they do in this video game. <laughs> Like you're, on the fuck, you're on the fucking subway and someone's like, imagine it! Wow. SpaceX is gonna colonize Mars! Like, the power of the polymers <laughs> is incredible! Oh my god, <laughs> chat GPT! Wow! <laughs> I just had it write uh. the entire B-movie script! <laughs> oh, it's one of these fuckers. Oh my god. Okay. Major Nachayev reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project well, of Dr. Sechenov's poly-education. 
Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want, a university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course! Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Robbie, you think we can get one of these hats on like Amazon? <laughs> I don't do think this, so. If this video does well, the rest of the Let's Play, Robbie and I are gonna wear these hats and turn our cameras on. <laughs> the face cam with the hats, yeah. Yeah. Is that like... You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. <laughs> Holy shit, Buck. Who designed hell? this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> you do! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this is... Just fucking... Oh, left off. He gets really fucking low. That's a full squat. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Okay, right now I want a mod that makes us the middle finger instead of the, the L. <laughs> That'd be great. Whoa. The robots make the robots? That's how Skynet starts with dolls. Okay. It's all... <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. It is all just robots in here. Oh my god. Okay. I just like how he runs, man. <laughs> they really gave the robots everything they need to take over. I'm gonna be surprised if they don't. That's the whole plot of this, right? Is the you gotta fight robots eventually? That would make sense. They're setting it up to be the bad guys right away. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. That's cool looking. The robots. Oh, I thought that. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Never mind, that's not cool looking. That's. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that one. What is it? Is that just a fat robot? What the hell? Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 38. A warm welcome to your future. Oh my god. Today, we 
stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of mankind. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory that will profoundly change the world as we know it. No, I'm not exaggerating. The access here. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has talking? been transformed Report to the lobby of that high rise, Comrade Major. They're waiting for you. Thanks to my invention of Europolymers and the process of mimetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. At last, a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone and Finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility So 3826, glad to see you're taking it easy, I Comrade Major. To you the, the car is waiting. Of the you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. Thought. It's been left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. Human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind. Take care. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you were Make it big on YouTube, Robbie. This will be our foyer. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> the, the YouTube house. That's where we record in the middle. Yeah, he should record here. And this is our. Yeah. This game is very, very good looking, though. I'm a, very surprised. Control very panels, pretty. cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Ooh, that's weird. Thought will replace every single the light one in there. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. I, that, the perspective confused me. I thought you were standing on that for some reason. I thought you all flipped. On, on you know? this? <laughs> yeah. I thought you looked down at it and like, what? How did you do that? <laughs> what happened there? All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible by a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, You'll become the future. About five minutes. Comrade, as a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. More lighting. Learn how to control robots with your own. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. Not we can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Does one have a jacket? And the other doesn't. Get them on the WNBA. <laughs> They're made from Brittany Griner. They scanned her. <laughs> Are you gonna have to ride this the whole way back down? You gotta be kidding me, right? <laughs> like, why did we? Section off here. Sorry, I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. 
but let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. I noticed one thing. Whenever you go to crouch, you get like the hunter vision. <laughs> Your vision fades in the corners. <laughs> they got some interesting choices with the, uh, the view. The game like design? The thing and... Yeah. Yeah. Do we actually get the driver or is this a cutscene? Happy polymerization day! Why even have a... Why make it look like a key? If it's just like an electronic key? It's a limo, it's a convertible. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Thank you, what? Skynet. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics, workers from that. the Soviet We've got plenty of thought devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyors. How about some music? That's more like it. If he, what if he just like changed the radio and it was like Moscow, Moscow? <laughs> you know, you know. That would have been amazing, yeah. Ra ra Rasputin. <laughs> Wait, is this the city it's in the exploding? sky? Oh my god! Dude, we're the uh, we're the Avengers. <laughs> yeah. I see you finally begun your assignment, and it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. This guy's rude. He is kind of a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us? Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Sometimes the dialogue seems like it was recorded at separate times and not like in an actual conversation. I can't lie, I kind of like it though. I, I love this man's the banter with the fucking glove. Uh, I love I the, get the, the robots, but the main, the main character sounds a little too. I don't know. His emotions are a little bit off in his um, inflection, which is okay. So maybe he won't talk too much whenever we get to the action portions. Going to the surface, dude. Are we hot boxing here? What's? <laughs> This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon Lando. be arriving at our destination. Disney World! Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight really breeze. Good. 
You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You sure love their giant statues, man. <laughs> yeah. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. They're Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Okay, Amazon Fulfillment Center. Anyway, this is a lot of world building. Directly really below is. is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the That's main radio pit. processing unit and control <laughs> nexus for this network node. Oh, wow. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Hey, but if they're solar farms, why are they all facing different directions? Maglev train stations connect That's all strange. of Facility 3826, allowing so, um, personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, no. and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. We're basically on Soren right now. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Patrov is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at Laboratory 8 of the Babylon Complex Ground Facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on the subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. You see a robot? Oh, what the hell are I you see. doing, yeah. lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch! Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Drofa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? Oh, help me, Comrade Major. <laughs> fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! At least that's a realistic reaction. Yeah. I didn't think he, I didn't think he was a little bit composed for that. Wow, that was chapter that would one. would not be so chill. That was interesting, oh. intriguing. 40 minutes into the recording, we got ourselves a title <laughs> screen, boys. Woo!
Get up, Artyom. You have to kill the robots. Come on. I need the vodka. It's killing me. What do you think that belt buckle's holding up considering he's wearing a jumpsuit? I, I do not know. Maybe it's just some Soviet fashion. Oh, do you get the pipe? I don't have control here. Oh my god. We're a fucking Jedi. Yo. Why is it's this gold? gold? Plated. <laughs> what? Do I have a weapon pack Wizard, on? Like this is P3. Come in. You Sergei, might. are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. Oh. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. No, you're, no, He's you're a traitor <laughs> who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. What is this? Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? Also, can I, like, can you, oh my Victor God. Petrov is the reason he's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes to the hub. The fucking mission is to find him. Bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. I just stepped on him. It's weird how, like, when I hit my left shift, I do like this, like, oh, you can dodge. That's what that is. Uh, Interesting. I feel bad about killing the pig. Hey, you gotta eat. Why they got so many axes? I don't know. Are you enemy? Oh, oh. Deal light damage, press left click, such attacks are fast. Okay, I got some range on this thing. Your gold plated axe, kinda insane. Okay. About this. Where's your health? I don't know. There's an alarm level. Is there stealth in this game? Oh my god! Oh, I. It's my bottom, the bottom left. right there. How yeah. did I lose so much? I must have lost a lot of health. The pig must have fucked you up. The pig did fuck me up. I'm gonna regret fighting that pig. Oh, you can loot. Oh, well, we gotta go loot this dude. How do I. Is there a sprint? I can just. It might be like a toggle sprint, and that might be what why we've been. We said earlier that it was like weird that it zoomed like that. You might have always been sprinting. Or like Minecraft, where you gotta like double click? Maybe. You are hereby prohibited to leave your train to go to the further notice. On the road. Cow. Holy oh, shit! Fuck. Hey, Glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help me! Hey, you. I'm coming. You alive in there? They're gonna jump at us. Shit! Uh, get away from me! What did you expect for your... 
yourself get the fuck off me whoa <laughs> like we're getting beat up by one of the wiggles <laughs> what are you gawking at oh, almost choked oh, to death sir. give me She's a hand here. Oh, i didn't see that Granny Zena. you should be more careful this place is a damn madhouse yeah i noticed uh -huh. thanks for the help no sweat sonny my what are you character. doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. Why is she like I a I could really accent. use a weapon. You got anything? Of course, but I'm not giving you shit. She might be Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah, oh, well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. It's basically safe. Shit, it's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got 30 seconds. Move your ass. 30 seconds until what? Oh. 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Now, no, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. What a badass granny. You got a hell of an arsenal there, Holy. lady. What are you planning? <laughs> here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that! Eat shit and die! Uh, 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 shit! Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Maybe her? Oh boy, she is fucking. Awesome. She might die though. Holy fight. shit! Oh. No! You left the bush Ready! <laughs> uh, how far are we gonna fall? <laughs> this is definitely a hidden loading screen. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Ding dong. Did you lose your sick ass fucking axe? Yeah, my my pimp axe. Yeah, where'd it go? And he he just he lost that, but he's got his fucking. What a goddamn clusterfuck! Oh, oh, nope, we still got it. Where where do you have that? Where, where, where's that? <laughs> Anything? Is there anything up in? Something through hoops. Okay. I not like open that. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. I just pressed X on accident and helped myself. Also, this does not want to open. Oh. Oh. He got it. Got it, finally. Pulled, like, all of them out, though, <laughs> at once.
It's like really slow or fucking zoom in. There's like you no know, in between. They can hear you. Why was that on the ground like circled? Where did he just put that? an interesting oh, it's just this little extra section. area. Why are they digging like it's World War One? <laughs> what do I do with this? Is there like a Q, F, E, a no? Are you trying to throw it? Yeah, I want to see if we throw it. Okay, soldier. What the shit? Oh, hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Oh There's worse ways to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, press tab. But your boy Artie on wants to go that way, apparently. Motherfucker's going in. We've got one bullet, okay. <laughs> they can hear you. Oh, God. I like the decor. Safe room, safe areas. You scoop the manual save game machine. And fucking that... goofy. <laughs> That's totally goofy. Uh, it is. Disney Not don't sue us. Goofy. Comrade mm. goofs. <laughs> you got shotgun All right. shells. Sean. Look at that. Saving data. All right. I think we're good in this one here. We finally got to the actual combat part. Um, but yeah, this seems like a really cool atmospheric, um, game. I love the setting. Um, you know, I think there's some interesting game design choices with some of the controls here, but I guess we'll get the hang of them. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to look forward to this. I think, Robert, what, how do you feel about this? I'm a big fan. This game looks really cool. Yeah, it's visually, it's so. very, very visually pleasing. And then the setting just seems very unique. I haven't seen something like this in a while, but... We're going to go ahead and call this one here. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Later. Adios.